Hey guys, Amanda here. I want to talk about uh, raising a child with special needs out of district placement. So after that huge meltdown that my son had at school, um, he was taken out of school because of his behavior for safety reasons and um, I met with the school with the, the, a lot of the people that are involved with him like his speech and OT and the principal, the case manager and so on and uh, we decided to come up with a plan to get all the information together and then the psychologist was going to write a report about it and then we were going to meet again and my son and I met with the psychologist um, twice and I had to fill out some questionnaires and so he took all the information that he had um, that he requested from other places and put it all together and came up with another um, I'm not sure what you um, what would you call it findings about his situation for lack of a better phrase so we just met today all of us again and we talked about you know he went the, the psychologist went through the paperwork that he prepared and you know we talked about a lot of different things and I brought up you know the the out of district place placement idea you know based on his level of need right now I don't think and the school agrees that they can handle him at that capacity what he needs because they have two grades excuse me in that school so it's not just him there's other kids and you know it's 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 kinda hard when it's not specifically designed for that kind of uh, care for him so we all decided that it would be a good idea for him to go to a day program and he's gonna go back to the place that he was seeing his psychiatrist I don't know if he's gonna still continue to be his psychiatrist I, I don't know but um, that's what's gonna be happening with him so they're gonna get all the stuff to you know do an intake and all that stuff and and hopefully um, so rather sooner than later that he will be going back to school because he's been out of school for quite a while. I think it's been like 11, 12 days. So he needs to go back to school. But I think I know this is what he needs. It's something that I didn't want to have happen. But, you know, it's just one of those things that it needs to happen. This is his life. And I want him to be able to be proud of himself for, you know, learning ways to control his emotions and being able to recognize them. I want him to be a part of his treatment plan. And they also have a family dynamic there where the family gets involved with the treatment at this facility that he will be going to. And it's not, he's not going to be living there. It's just a day program. So, you know, hopefully things will, will get better, you know, I don't know, we'll see, you know, if I don't take the chance, then I'll never know, and, you know, right now they just can't handle him, and I understand that. I'm just glad that they are willing to work with me on this. The previous school was not. They thought that they could do it all by themselves, but considering all the times that he was transferred to the emergency room and you know taken by ambulance and then he was um, he went to the hospital twice <laughs> at that school so yeah I think that speaks for itself that they didn't they didn't have what what it's going to take to help him at the level that he's at. So, I'm just waiting to hear, you know, from the woman 
that works with the schools and uh, that particular facility. I guess you could call her the liaison. Um, you know, to sign a, a set up an intake and then go from there. Now I just want to go over his diagnoses because they've you know changed slightly. Um, he has ADHD, autism. Um, he's been diagnosed with a mood disorder. NOS. The doctor is thinking um, that it's going in the direction of bipolar, which is genetic in some ways. So, it, and I've seen a lot of myself in him with that. So. Yeah, I think he could possibly develop bipolar, um, but right now I think it's more on the depressive side that they're thinking, um, but we'll see. And then uh, oppositional defiant disorder, so that's a lot. And of course, the behavioral piece, you know, it just makes it harder. But anyway, that's where, that's where everything is right now, and... One step at a time. One step at a time. Alright, well, thank you for listening. I appreciate it. Um, I love you all. I hope you all are doing well, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.